so I've been working on modeling the entire city of Detroit in 3D. I use a program called Blender, and through the use of a plugin and some coordinates that I downloaded from NASA, it builds out the framework of a rough city. The building heights aren't perfect, and they're actually far from what they look like in real life, but it gave me a good start to get this project going. You can see here what it looks like after I started applying some rough satellite imagery and textures. All of these things will change, this is just a rough draft, but it's really cool to see already and I'm excited to use it for my video game and potentially my documentary film, hashtag a Detroit film. You see right here how many of these buildings just have the same texture and then I added a little bit of material work to the Renaissance Center and one Detroit building. The next building I did was the Guardian building. And with this one, I actually tried to round out some of the features on the building, and instead of just placing standard textures, I used materials and procedural bricks in order to make it look more realistic. I actually spent a decent amount of time on the Guardian building, as I think it's interesting. You can see this band is actually gold and the bricks and all of that. This copper roof, I think it's copper at least, I'm not really sure. But it's got this star on the roof and just all these other things that I had to do in order to make it look somewhat convincing. I'm still torn between the idea of doing a stylized city of Detroit and the idea of actually doing a super realistic one. Just because I feel like I could do these shots in real life with my drone if I wanted it too realistic. And I kind of want my video game to be more stylized. I don't know, it's all just a huge work in progress right now, but I'm super happy with how it's looking so far. And even though I only have a couple of the buildings drafted, I still think it's just pretty epic to look at. And the scale and the proportions are all pretty close to real life. Not identical, but pretty, pretty close. Here's what I did at the Penobscot building. I love this antenna and this ball on the top of it. And I love that I had to make it glow, so I added a night HDRI, which is that image in the background. Excuse the grain on all these renders, this scene is actually now 6 million triangles. So I can't even actually render it full quality on my computer yet. I'm hoping eventually to be able to, but at that point I'll have the whole city actually looking more like a city and not so much like a copy and pasted. I don't even know what you would call it. <laughs> this is the character for my video game. He's still a work in progress as well, but his name's Bando Khan. And I'm really excited about even creating his eyes and just getting skin texture and adding pores to the character. Again, I'm sorry this is all in a really rough phase, but I wanted to share it while it was still new so that down the road I can look back and other people can see how far this project actually came. So far I've just been hashtagging it, hashtagging it Detroit in 3D on all social media. I'll post more updates as they come in. <laughs> 